Hey, this is Johanna. And this is Nick from Lucifer. And you're watching Eclectic Arts. <laughs> All right, we're here in Seattle at the Highline Bar with two members of Lucifer. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Good. Oh, all right, glad to have you here in Seattle. Thank you. And um, I know it's been a little bit of a hectic day with uh, some changes in the bill and everything else, but you're here and you're ready to go. So I know you've been here in the U.S. touring, uh, kind of coming up the West Coast. I know you're down in Vegas for the big festival and everything else. So right, right off the bat, how are the shows going so far in the U.S.? Very good. We've had a lot of fun and. Uh, the audience seemed to be on fire as well, sparks were flying, so far so good. Alright, and, uh, and you're here promoting Lucifer 2, uh, the album, yes. and, and there seems to be um, quite a, a style difference between the first album and the second album. I would say the first one's kind of got more of a doom sound to it, and then the second one's got more of like a heavy rock. Is that kind of an accurate assessment? Yeah, Okay. And, that. Okay, and is that what you're looking for for the future from Lucifer? Uh, to change again or to oh, stay? Oh, to kind of stay with the heavy rock kind of vibe. Yes, uh, I, I do. I mean, I'm very fond of the first album. Uh, it's very close to my heart, but um, I do prefer the production of the second album. And I think um, for me, the songs are a bit more catchy. They're more song songs. And <clears throat> I do like that. Okay. And, and Nick, you agree? Well, I wasn't on the first album, so I couldn't really say, okay. as a member of the band, uh, the first album is more a fan of the, of the band for me, so, uh, which I really like the first album, and obviously I can hear differences, but it's, you know, there's different people writing and different people playing, but I still think it sounds, I would say it still sounds like Lucifer. Well, there were actually, of course, when a band changes somehow, um, there's always somebody who will complain. But um, in general, I think we still have the same fan base, if not we have more. And um, also live, I don't know if you're going to be at the show later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you will hear that, um, because we play old and um, new material from the first and the second album, that it all blends in really well together, going through the theater that Lucifer is now. Okay, yeah, and no, I'm looking forward to I'll be shooting photos during the show and writing a review as well, so kind of all, all three things. Um, one, thing I want to be good. <laughs> uh, one thing I wanted to ask uh, Johanna is uh, what kind of um, vocal training do you have? What's your background when it comes to your voice? Uh, I have no vocal training. I actually um, taught myself how to sing. Um, in the mid-90s, I, well, I've been singing in bands since I was 13. Uh, which is a hundred years ago, and I've just been always singing along to stuff that I liked. So I had one lesson one time when I was 16. Um, I went to an opera singer and I went there for one lesson and never went back. So, wow, that's amazing! You have such a strong, powerful voice. I always thought you were going to tell me, Oh, I was classically trained and I did all this to find out you weren't. No, it's actually, amazing. I used to not have such a um, uh, rock and roll voice. I, by nature, I think I'm more of a pop voice. But um, smoking cigarettes definitely helps. <laughs> okay, so for all those out there wanting to be powerful vocalists, start smoking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no one has ever said that, I bet. But it helped me. Okay. <laughs> And then, Nick, you're a multi-instrumentalist, um, you play in different bands, and um, what do you bring to the table as the drummer for Lucifer? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, I, I guess... <clears throat> I mean, I have my style of playing drums, mm -hmm. so I'm bringing that. Yeah, for sure. And, but it's maybe not so much up to me to tell what kind of style that is. Uh, I don't. I don't think I play like most contemporary drummers play. Uh, I mean, 
my influence influences in drumming is this is the same as in music and songwriting. Okay. My favorite two decades are the sixties and the seventies. So that's where so I can bring a little bit of that, I guess. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Um, and uh, so you've got one more show tomorrow up in Canada, and then uh, what are your future plans for Lucifer? Bergen in Norway. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> on the way back, uh, so after Canada, we fly to um, Bergen in Norway to play the Black Metal Festival Beyond the Gates. And from there we fly home and we want to continue recording the third album, because it's set to be released uh, March 20th next year. Okay. Um, we are also planning on coming back for a third leg in the States. The dates are not confirmed yet, but we are working on it. We will go to the South. Because we've covered the East Coast and the West Coast, and there's so much missing. So. Okay. And just kind of um, throwing it out there, if you could pick um, any artists to tour with, which ones come to mind if you could go on the road with certain bands? I don't know. What's the biggest band? Metallica, maybe? Probably. Yeah, probably I'll them. I'll say Metallica. Okay. You say? Yeah, anything from Black Sabbath to Fleetwood Mac. Cause... <laughs> yeah, Fleetwood Mac, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and one thing I also wanted to ask, uh, Johanna, with the name Lucifer here in the States, have you found any kind of um, pushback on that? Meaning, like, you know, I don't know, conservative groups that have taken issue with it or anything like that? Nobody has knocked on my door yet. Okay. I'm actually a little bit disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm waiting too. <laughs> no, um, I did see a, a, a fan comment that he walked into a shop or gas station with a Lucifer shirt and the cashier apparently said to him, I don't like your shirt. So, but, but that's as far. Yeah, that's I, as far I loved there. reading that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do the interview, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the show tonight here in Seattle. Thank you. Thank you. Much.